by Casper on the 5th of January 2023, my first note of the year. This is a Spanish red. I've got a Spanish red here that we have had in stock for a while. It's been hanging around a bit and I thought I'd just better look at it and see what sort of condition it's in. So what is it? It's 2018, a wine called Unculin uh, from a winemaker called Jose Antonio Garcia. And we are in Bierzo, so we're right up in the north of um, Spain and a wine made from the local grape uh, Mencia, also known as Jaén in um, uh, elsewhere. Um, and it got, you know, for the price, and it's a very modest, I mean, you'd call it probably an everyday uh, drinker. Um, uh, the, it was attracting some really good scores, which I was pleased to see. 13.5% uh, alcohol. It, I mean, it still looks like a pretty young wine. It's It's very red in the glass, it's very deeply coloured in the glass, as you probably expect from Menthea. Narrow band at the rim, sort of mulberry red. Um, yeah, so let's have a look and see what it's doing. It's got a, a sort of typically Menthea nose, a little bit of, I mean, a lot of bramble fruit, lots of lovely dark Bramble fruit, but there's a, a lightness, a freshness to that fruit. A sort of dew freshness that is intriguing. And, and there's something else, almost sort of um, hint of reduction. A slight, I mean, it's going to sound very unattractive, a sort of black, slightly black rubber smell to it. Which isn't unattractive. It's... Um, Lots of spice and a little bit of sort of, again, sound unattractive, a sort of almost singed hair note to it. Nice though. Um, black plum bramble. Mm. Well, it's a fascinating wine, and it's it's a, it's a particular style of wine that you probably wouldn't find anywhere else. It's very quickly, very fresh in the mouth. That fruit black, from the colour you'd expect a, a wine that's perhaps expect a wine that's really quite massive in scale. But it's it's not. It's very much sort of it's an assertive wine, but it's very much medium weight, and that freshness starts at the beginning, runs right through to this really juicy, juicy ending. Along the way, it picks up a tannic structure that has mellowed with, with age and taken on this sort of uh, chalky texture to it. Yeah, a lovely wave of dark, energetic fruit, snappy, snappy plum skins. The bramble thing suggests a, a, a ripeness and there's no sort of great sense of ripeness about this in the mouth. It's lively. I would have this with food. Um, lamb would be nice. The acidity of the wine would um, perhaps counteract the, the fattiness of the, of the meat. Um, Maybe even put a pork dish. Actually, um, it's a it's a really interesting thing, and it comes across to me that I I'm not sure if it's a how, just how natural it is, but it comes across to me a bit like a sort of a natural wine. It's got that kind of vigor, that relaxed vigor, should we call it? Um, that one might expect from a natural wine. There's a hint of faintly exotic like sandalwood about it perhaps lots going on there it's a really nice wine um and perhaps a really nice wine for drinking in january when you don't want anything too massive and too heavy it sort of dances across the palate and and is ultimately really quite refreshing it's a really nice thing still um i see some uh, commentators suggest drinking it by 2023 i don't know if that's i presume by the end of 2023 i think it'll probably go a bit longer than that i'm mean, judging by the color and what i'm smelling and tasting here it's it's a really nice thing there we go that's been 2018 unculin um 
Bietho Mencia from um, Jose Antonio Guthier. Um, just a, a really nice, fresh, lively, interesting red wine. 